guys, it's Jonathan here. Today I'm going to be doing a room makeover. So I'm taking my little bedroom in this one bedroom flat and I'm going to be turning it into a bedroom slash office workspace. So the aim is just to create a productive space to work. I'm a musician, I'm an artist and producer, so I want a kind of cozy space where I can sit and write songs, be inspired, be creative and hopefully stay on track and be productive too. The style I'm going for in this room is what some people call Japandi, which is a combination of Japanese and Scandinavian. So we're looking at warm tones, a lot of neutral, natural colours, and pretty minimal but also kind of cosy and warm. Lots of wood, lots of white, that's the kind of overall vibe. This video is going to be a combination of talking and voiceover and some subtitles. I kind of do both. Um, let's jump into me building a whole bunch of furniture and getting this room ready. Here we go. Build the bed frame. I'm gonna build the desk next. But I'm hungry. I gotta go eat. <laughs> Although I can't actually get out right now. <laughs> I just realized that this thing on the end of the scissors is really good for opening things. I don't know if that's what it's for, but 
I should have used that the whole time. <laughs> on the hottest day of the year. We're having a heat wave today and it is warm. I've got the fan going, the windows open, doing what I can. Um, but hey, I'm here, might as well do it. <laughs> This whole video was basically an attempt to create an environment to focus and be creative. I think it's important to surround yourself with things that you find inspiring. For me, that's books, little prints, even little toys, just things that I can draw on to get inspired when I'm working. And as I mentioned in the subtitles earlier, I think your environment is really important. I know over the last two years, I've definitely learned that getting the work-life balance right while you're at home is difficult because I can so easily just sit here on my sofa with a laptop, but 
it's very easy just to get distracted then and to not really get into the focus mode. So having an actual desk where I can go and sit and be like, okay, it kind of gives a signal to your brain and says, this is work time now. And I think for me, having a standing desk is gonna be a really fun variation to this because I spend a lot of time sat down, just making music, doing work, and so having the option to just stand up, give myself a break a little bit, change things up, and also help my posture. I mean, this posture's not great, but you know, we can sort that out. Um, even when it comes to recording my music, if I'm recording guitars and vocals, it's often nice to do that stood up, and so I can actually do that at my desk now, which is gonna be a real time saver. So I wanted to say thank you to Fazebo for sending me this desk. I really do appreciate it, and you know, genuinely, I really like it. I'm impressed. The quality is very good. It's a lot heavier than I thought it would be. Like, it's really sturdy. Um, I love the bamboo finish and it's quiet. It's quick going up and down. I'm happy. I'm a happy customer. So, even the price, as far as these electronic standing desks go, it's pretty reasonable. So, if you're interested in one, I'm going to put a link to Fazebo and these desks in the description of my video. So, you know what to do. Now, before I finish, I wanted to end with a little bonus productivity tip. So this might seem really obvious, but when I've got a bunch of things going on in my mind that I'm juggling around, all the tasks I need to do, one thing that helps me a lot is just to dump it all on a list. Now, I have tried every to-do list app that I think exists, and I've ended up just on Apple Reminders, just the default Reminders app. Um, the good thing is I can add things with Siri when I'm on the go, and it just is on a list, and as soon as it's on a list, it's not in here, and so I have space to actually you know, move on and think about other things. But what I also like to do is take a look at my list each day and make a physical note of some of the tasks. So I'll just pick three, maybe four things, write them down on an actual piece of paper, the analog way, and I will put that on my desk so that I can see it and just, I have a bit of focus for that day, for those times where I sit down to work. I'm like, even if my day's all over the place, if I can just get through some of those tasks, I can see I've done something and I've made progress. Because the big, vision goal thing can seem overwhelming. I'm trying to make an album right now. When I think about, oh man, I have to make a whole album, I get very overwhelmed. When I'm like, all right, I just need to mix this song. I just need to write the lyrics to this one. I need to get that drum part from this musician. Then suddenly it feels manageable and I can just take one thing at a time, one day at a time, one step at a time. I am actually on a quest right now to like sort my life out because <laughs> I'm a very floaty creative person, which is good. We value openness and free space and free time, but I am realizing that there is a need for structure as well, and I'm trying to build that into my life. And I'll probably share some more thoughts and my journey with that, but for this video, I just wanted to focus on the space, the environment that I'm creating, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now I just need to go and be productive, I guess. So I better get on with it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in another one very soon.